I Am Angus is brought to you by the Igenity Profile for Angus, helping Angus producers everywhere to accelerate genetic progress and reduce risk in genetic investment. You know, I grew up in the ranching, ranching business. Um, never really knew anything else. Kind of went to community college and uh, in business classes because I thought I wanted to go a different way. And when I got out, I realized that it's really the only thing I was I wanted to do was be on a ranch. We uh, we run a commercial cow herd that's uh, Angus based, primarily Angus English cross. Um, we're kind of working towards a, a much larger Angus base and the cows as well. Uh, one thing with Angus genetics, of course, is the marketability. You know, it's, it's the sought-after genetics for feeders, and with the with the uh, the EPD base and the Angus herd, they're so predictable. Uh, we can make such a uniform calf crop, um, and, and we use mostly or all balanced trait bulls. Um, Got to have a good maternal base in our cows because we save our own heifers. So first and foremost, we have to be able to put them back in our herd, and then they also have to be able to to perform for our customers when they reach a feedlot and packing plant as well. So where we raise Angus cattle, it's becoming kind of a name recognition in in any locale, not just our own. But we have restaurants in our area that serve certified Angus beef. And it's, you know, it's good to be able to tell them we raise Angus beef. The consumer is becoming so much more brand conscious and certified Angus beef is the premium brand. That's the one that's recognizable in, in restaurants and stores. Uh, so it's helped us a tremendous amount. I think there will always be cattle ranching in California, even with, uh, you know, as the population continues to grow, uh, there's going to be areas that uh, that are you know, under development, but there's still gonna be open space all around them. There's still gonna be a, you know, a viable cattle industry. And uh, we, still, we still produce a, the best and healthiest source of protein for a growing population. Um, you don't realize that we're out here on a, on a commercial cattle ranch, but we're, we're uh, 15 miles from a town of 100,000 people. Uh, has some benefits for my family. Certainly has some distractions for us as ranchers, but uh, cattle ranching all over California preserves open space. Um, there's always going to be, you know, always going to be land here that has cattle on it and then everything that goes with cattle grazing, which is the, the you know, the rest of the ecosystem, the, the birds and, and mammals that we have that are on the ranch that, uh, that you know, or here as a direct result of the ecosystem we have with the grazing. But uh, we have a commitment to uh, raise our animals and take care of them um, to the best of our ability. We have a, you know, I mean, we have a, a moral obligation to, to take care of them. And the cattle grazing out here and the grass, um, it's, you know, it's the best way that we can manage these cattle not only for us but for the cattle and you know the i think that uh, as people learn that and learn how cattle are actually raised out on the rangeland and and the life that they that they lead um, you know i think a lot of people don't understand that they don't know exactly where their beef came from originally and and these cattle were raised in a very you know, very environmental friendly fashion and, and uh, under the best care possible. You know, there's not a lot of people that can go to work every day, do something different, uh, go to a different area, be outdoors, and then also know that they're helping other people with a, you know, with such a wholesome product. Um, and that we'll continue to do that, you know, for as long as we're able to get on and ride. <laughs>